thank you for hearing. Um, Minister, as you are aware, the very useful work has been carried out under the minor flood mitigation works, which deals particularly with localised flood flooding. It's a small scale funding that's provided at national level. It has made a difference to householders and to local communities as well. I believe that the criteria is rather restrictive at the minute, and I would sincerely hope that the Minister would be in a position to have those criteria and conditions pertaining to the scheme um, loosened up or, or improved. And I think it could mean a huge difference to many householders, particularly in rural communities, where, where there's not a weighting enough in favour of um, dispersed populations and roads with relatively low volumes of traffic. Thank you, Akka Hirig. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Deputy Smith. Uh, the minor uh, flood mitigation works and coastal protection scheme was introduced by the OPW on an administrative and statutory footing basis in 2009. Purpose of this demand-driven scheme is to provide funding to local authorities to undertake minor works mitigation works, uh, flood, sorry, flood mitigation works are studies to address localised fluvial flooding and coastal protection problems within their administrative areas. Since 2009, <coughs> the OPW has approved 66 million uh, across some 900 UK uh, unique local flood relief projects to protect some 7,900 properties uh, through the scheme. Applications funding from local authorities are considered to flood relief for flood relief and erosion protection measures costing up to 750,000 each instance. Funding of up to 90% of the cost is available for approved projects. Applications are assessed by the OPLA having regard to the specific economic, social and environmental criteria of the scheme, including cost benefit ratio and having regard to the availability of of funding for flood management. Full details of this scheme are available on the OPW's uh, Flood Info website, uh, www.floodinfo.ie. A review of the scheme to ensure they continue to support the local authorities and work to address localised fluid flooding and coast protection has been underway and will be finalised shortly. The OPW welcome application of funding under the scheme is happy to engage in this regard. And then the funding improvement of the scheme to local authorities in the years uh, requested 2002. Uh, funding approved was 2.9 million for 26 projects, 2023, 3.3 million for 24 projects, 24 to the 4th of July of this year, 1.8 million for 13 projects. And just going back on the review, the core point you make, uh, Deputy Smith. A review of the administrative range of the scheme was completed in June 2017. Another review of the scheme to ensure the continued support to local and their work to address localised fuel for the cost production has been underway and will be finalised shortly. It's something I'm looking at at the moment. In terms of work uh, my officials have done, which I'm considering, uh, I'm very much looking at, at um, updating the scheme. Um, Kahiri, um, I thank Minister O'Donnell for his answer, and I sincerely hope that the review can be completed shortly. Minister, obviously when you're dispersing and spending public money, there has to be a cost-benefit ratio. The one thing that concerns me is that there's enough, not enough consideration given in assessing the merit of flood relief schemes to sparsely populated areas and, ro and, and roads and uh, arterial routes that may, may have relatively low traffic. We may have a local road, but literally that's the, the motorway for that local community, so it is. So I think at times, and I, I know we, there has to be criteria in regard to public expenditure, we're all aware of that, but I think, Minister, in my understanding of this scheme, that far too often, if, if, there, if, if there's not flooding over a considerable period of time, that's one of the criteria. Now, I know from engineers and talk to farmers and people who live in the countryside is a flood that rises quickly can be very, very dangerous. That same flood may, may decrease and go down very quickly. But that type of flooding incidence at the minute does not meet the criteria of your scheme. So I, I'm familiar with roads, and those of us who are out late at night coming and going to meetings, whatever, on, 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 on rural roads, we know what times that we can come across an area where there's heavy rainfall, maybe water coming down from the mountain, coming down from the high hills. There can be flash flooding and very dangerous flooding. And unfortunately, there have been fatalities over the years and serious accidents. Minister, I would appeal to you in particular to ask your officials to amend that particular part of the criteria and also take into account roads that have le lesser volumes of traffic. Uh, thanks very much, uh, uh, Count Corla. Um, Deputy uh, Smith, I take on, point, uh, on board the point you make, and certainly in my consideration of the review of the scheme, I'll take all those factors into account. I note the point you make. Um, 
can I and Deputy Durkin equally you're making similar points and in the review of the scheme I take Everton in the round. Obviously my officials are the professionals in the area, but I'm a practicing politician like your good selves and I, I always build into what's happening on the ground. Maybe by way of, of uh, just it's in the note, uh, Deputy Smith, it might be of interest to you. Uh, applications from your own county represent Kevin and Monaghan. Since 2009, the OPW has approved funding under the Minor Flood Mitigation Works and Coast Protection Scheme of circa 463,302 to County Cavan for some 10 projects. Since 2009, OPW has approved funding under the Minor Works Flood Mitigation Works and Coast Protection Scheme of circa 2.5 million County Monaghan for 27 projects. Uh, interestingly, uh, Deputy um, Smith, there have been no applications of Minor Works from Cavan and Monaghan local authorities since 2022. Um, so it's just a point to note. I don't have notes in respect of Kildare. Uh, it's, it's, it's ongoing, but 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 duly noted. Um, th thank you very much, Minister. And I think that, you know that the, the council officials would engage with you with the officials, the OPW, and the C. You know if it's worthwhile putting in the application for the projects they had in mind. So it's that restrictive nature is preventing applications coming in. And I'm sure every one of us um, can identify projects that we think would be suitable. And Minister, in, in considering how to deal with flood relief, officials at local and national level should always talk to local communities. I think the, the best informed people in regard to dealing with flooding issues are the farming community in particular. They have seen the experience over the years of what causes flooding, etc. And I know roads in my own county. If I travel through West Cavan, Glengevin, Dower, Black Lion, under the, the Kilka mountain range along the border and that, I can be certain on a bad night where I run into a flood and I, I, I diverse and, and go different routes, etc. from a safety point of view. The local community are hit with that on a constant basis. And Minister, to expand the question, I know another one that, that I have down is in regard to the Arterial Drainage Act of 1945. I would implore you, Minister, to, to ensure that OPW have ongoing and even more detailed contact with their counterparts in the Department of Infrastructure in Northern Ireland, the former Rivers Agency. A lot of the flooding in my area, it, it's common to Fermanagh, it's common to Cavan. And you know, the urban catchment water levels rise and we're all in trouble. So we need an, a greater intensification of cooperation on a cross-border and all-Ireland basis in regard to flooding problems as well. Thank you, Akahir League. Thanks very much, uh, Deputy Smith. On, firstly, on the local communities. I come from a constituency where we have lived with flooding for many years. And the local community, the farmers, and the local people, not just farmers, have a knowledge base that's, that's, um, that's really invaluable. And I certainly know from dealing with the local authority in Limerick that they very much value their input. Uh, and in terms of your input, uh, in terms of cooperation cross-border, that continues. Uh, if you have specific uh, uh, issues along the border which you represent in terms of flooding, by all means make direct contact with us in the OPW and it's something we will follow up on.